Hey guys, welcome back to Harrison Hacks. Today I'm going to show you a program called Easy Yuzu. And what this does, it will download a portable version of Yuzu for you, as well as if you already have Yuzu installed on your PC, you can go ahead and update it through this application. So the first thing we're going to want to do is just go to the link in the description of this video, and it will take us to the Easy Yuzu GitHub. Now, I can't pronounce this properly. I'm sorry if I'm butchering it, but uh, Amakavana or Amakavana, I'm not sure. I apologize. Uh, but it is saying that it requires .NET 7 desktop runtime. So you can go ahead and I like to right click, open a new tab. And then you can go ahead and it'll start downloading it automatically. Now I already have it installed, but if you don't, you'd want to go to your downloads folder and install it. And then we're going to scroll on down to the easyyuzu.zip. And I like to right click, save link as, and just put that right on my desktop. So I already have it on my desktop, but you would go ahead and hit save. I'm going to cancel and close. So now that we have our easyyuzu.zip, we're going to right click, 7-zip, extract to, and there it is. So what we'll do is open it up and we have easyyuzu.exe, we'll run it. So this wants us to browse to where we have our yuzu.exe and this is for updating purposes, but we don't have one yet. But this will create one very easily. So we'll click the three dots on the right and I'm going to go to desktop and I'm going to go new folder and just name this folder Yuzu. And then I'm going to hit select folder. And at the bottom, it'll populate, it'll say new install, left click. And we can close out of our easy Yuzu folder. And then what it's doing now is just installing everything for us. It says our Yuzu is currently up to date. So we're good to go. So what we'll do is close out of the program bring over our Yuzu folder that we have here. Now, for Yuzu, you need keys and firmware. I cannot show you where to get these two files, unfortunately. But what you want to do with your keys first is right click on the zip file, 7-zip, and I'll extract here this time. Then I'm going to grab my keys file, right click, cut or copy, and let's open up our Yuzu folder. So we're going to go to our user folder and we're going to go to keys. Then we're going to right click and paste our keys file. Next, we're going to go back to our Yuzu folder and just run Yuzu for the first time. Just like so. Do I want to share my data? No, I don't, but you can if you want. So in the bottom right here should show what firmware we're on, but unfortunately we are don't have a firmware installed so let's do that so I'm gonna right click or not right click I'm gonna exit <laughs> uh, here is my firmware dot zip I'm going to right click 7 zip and this time I'm gonna click extract files dot 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 and I'm gonna go to the three dots desktop yuzu user NAND system contents registered. So inside of Yuzu, you go into your user folder, into your NAND folder, system folder, contents folder, registered folder, and hit OK. So it should look just like this, other than my username. Hit OK. Now we're going to open our Yuzu folder once more. And we are going to run Yuzu to confirm that yes, we are on 17.0.1 firmware. So now we need to add games. I have one game ready to go for this tutorial. But what you'll want to do is right click on a blank space inside of your Yuzu folder. I like to put new folder. 
and I like to put games and hit enter. I'm going to open up my games folder, snap it to the side. Now I'm going to open up where I have my game. I'm going to drag it over to the side and now we are going to copy our game into our games folder. I'm using an NSP file. We'll close that. So let's go back to Yuzu. Launch it up. Double click to add a new folder to the games list. So I'm going to double click. Right inside of our Yuzu folder, we have games, select folder. There is our game. Now my game actually has an update for it. So what I'm going to do is go to file, install files to NAND. And I'm going to search for my update file. It's on my desktop and I have my Super Mario RPG update. I'm going to click the file, click open. It's going to tell us it'll overwrite any previously installed updates. I'm going to hit install. Okay. So now I'm on version 1.0.1. .1. If I launch the game, it launches right up. I cannot show you any gameplay due to copyright reasons, but it will launch up and play. Yes, I want to exit. And to keep everything neat and tidy, what I like to do is right click again on the blank space, new folder, and I like to make an updates folder. I just like to have everything contained within one folder, so my Yuzu folder. So now I'm going to take my Super Mario RPG update and just drag that whole folder into my updates folder so that I have it for later use. I'll close out. Now what I'm going to do is take my Yuzu folder, right click. I'm going to cut what you can copy. And I'm going to go to my external hard drive. I'm going to right click and paste. So I'm going to let this run through. I'm not going to make you guys watch it copy over, but when it's all done, we'll come back and I'll show you it working on a completely different drive. Okay, so Yuzu is done copying over to my new drive. And it doesn't matter, you can put it in a subfolder, whatever you want. I like to keep mine in the root of drives, but it's up to you. But we'll go into Yuzu. And the last step that we're going to need to change manually is in the user folder. We're going to go to config. And then we have qt-config.ini. We're going to right click, edit. And once we edit this, it'll be good forever. You never have to edit it again. It's set for life. So we're going to scroll on down quite a ways. And just above core. So here is the core. Just above that we have game directory 4. It's still telling us our games are on my desktop or wherever you had your games folder. What you'll want to do, you want to keep forward slash games, highlight everything else up to the C, and just put a dot. So you want dot forward slash games, file, save, we'll close it. Let's go back to Yuzu, launch it up, boom. So now our games are there. You can see, I'll quickly load, but I can't show any gameplay. It launches. Yes, I want to exit. And then let's say I want to go into a subfolder. I'm just going to use my bezel project folder as an example, but I'll just throw it in there and I will launch it up. Now I'm in a subfolder instead of the root of the drive and game works. So it's that easy to make a portable Yuzu using Easy Yuzu. Uh, I really appreciate you guys watching. Please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, but most importantly, have a good day.